Are you having trouble putting on weight? It may sound weird, but many people have trouble gaining weight. We can't forget that total body weight is a thing, and lean body weight is another thing. Besides that, being thin is not a free pass for eating whatever you want to. You may even gain weight, but it will result in malnourishment, which may even cause health issues. It is important to have a diet high in nutrients to gain weight healthily and sustainably. So in today's video, we will talk about how to gain weight quickly. Do you want to learn the techniques and tips to make the numbers go up on your scale? Training. Muscle training spins calories and many people think that the more they train, the less they will weigh. But that's not exactly how things work. If your objective is to gain muscle mass and weight gain as a consequence, you must do hypertrophy training to increase your muscular volume. A workout usually has 6 to 12 repetitions by exercise, 3 to 5 times a week. Let's be clear, the more you go to the gym, the shorter your workouts can be so that all muscle groups are worked. It is worthy to remember that it is important to go until you reach the point of failure, using as much weight as you can while still being able to execute well the exercise until you can't do any more reps. Besides that, you can also do some aerobics, even during the weight gain process, if you wish to improve your insulin sensitivity. However, only do it if you can recover the calories that are lost during the aerobics. Eating. Some nutrients are essential for the functioning of our body and, obviously, for building muscles, since it is from them that we take the necessary energy for metabolic processes. These nutrients can be classified as macro or micronutrients. Have you ever heard about them? Some of the micronutrients are vitamins, responsible for the good cellular functioning and the development of vital functions of the body, minerals, such as calcium, potassium, and magnesium, that in between other functions aid in the prevention of cellular lesions and in the protection against free radicals that cause aging. Macros, on the other hand, are composed of proteins, carbs, and fats. Ingesting the adequate number of macronutrients will make your diet much more efficient than simply restricting calories. Do you want to learn how to calculate your necessary caloric intake to gain weight naturally and in a healthy way? See how. Proteins. For each kilogram of body weight, 2 grams of protein. For example, if you weigh 60 kilograms, you can consume 120 grams of protein per day. To find your weight in kilos, divide your weight in pounds by 2.2. Fats. For each kilogram of body weight, 0.8 to 1.1 grams of fats. For example, if your weight is 60 kilograms, you can consume 66 grams of fat per day. Carbohydrates. For each kilogram of body weight, start with 6 grams of carbs if you can't gain weight. For example, if you weigh 60 kilograms, you can consume 360 grams of carbs per day. However, you must pay attention to your weight with this increase in calories, since when we increase our caloric intake, the metabolism accelerates, working more efficiently. So every weekend, you must step on the scale to weigh yourself. Try doing it always on the same day and hour to create a habit. If your weight remains the same from one week to another, increase 0.5 grams per kilograms of carbs in your daily caloric intake. So it will go from 6 grams to 6.5 grams per kilogram of body weight. Follow our example. If you weigh 60 kilograms, you can consume 390 grams of carbs per day. If you gained 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds, from one week to another, keep your caloric intake as it is. Supplementing. There is no need to supplement macro or micronutrients, but it can be helpful for people who have trouble hitting their caloric intake. In this case, if you can't eat 100 grams, 3.5 ounces of chicken, and 400 grams, 14 ounces of cooked sweet potatoes, it might be better and more practical to consume 100 grams, 3.5 ounces of sweet potato powder with 30 grams, 1.05 ounces of whey in a 300 milliliter shake, 10 ounces. It will be easier and practical for you to ingest the necessary calories. Besides that, drinking some grape or orange juice can also help you hit the needed carbs. Since you have trouble gaining weight, you should opt for foods that aren't too high in fiber. They are good and very welcome, though. To avoid feeling satiated for too long and end up not eating all the calories you need during the day. So instead of eating beans, try eating only white rice. Also opt for regular pasta instead of the whole wheat version. 
Besides that, you can use creatine, which has been shown to be very efficient for hypertrophy, helping also with muscle recovery, and also use a multivitamin to increase your micronutrient intake. In a weight gain diet, the consumption of salads and vegetables must be reduced since they contain fewer calories and lots of fiber that will make you feel satiated for longer and hinder your gains. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.